A new moon just emerged in China, and here's why you should be worried. China's Chang'e 6 probe unearthed a lunar nightmare. Samples from the moon's far side reveal helium-3 and water in quantities that could ignite a global race for control, confirming fears of a militarized space frontier. The mission's haul from the South Pole Aitken Basin, glass spheres trapping water, and a new mineral laced with fusion fuel has stunned scientists. Analysts warn these resources could reshape energy, geopolitics, and lunar dominance, escalating tensions as China's moon base nears. The far side, unseen from Earth, hides secrets Apollo missed. Chang'e 4's 2019 landing found gel-like impact melt, hinting at recent geological activity. Chang'e 6's samples, analyzed in 2025, confirmed mantle minerals, olivine and pyroxene, exposed by a four-billion-year-old impact. But the bombshell is helium-3, a fusion fuel worth trillions, embedded in Change Site Y crystals. Just one ton could power Earth for a year, clean and limitless. Water, locked in glass beads at 2,000 parts per million, exists everywhere, enabling fuel and life support. These findings rewrite lunar science. The far side's thick crust shouldn't host prolonged volcanism, yet radar shows layered basalt from ancient eruptions. Helium-3's abundance defies models of lunar formation, suggesting unknown processes. Scientists like Dr. Li Wei are floored. This challenges everything, our moon's history, Earth's origins. X posts hitting 12 million views, fuel speculation of China's strategic edge. The Pentagon fears Beijing's International Lunar Research Station, set for 2035, could claim these resources. The stakes are colossal. Helium-3 mining demands lunar infrastructure, giving China, with its methodical Chang'e program, a lead over NASA's delayed Artemis. Water's ubiquity means bases anywhere, not just polar craters, but extraction needs massive soil processing, 150 tons per gram of helium-3. Whoever masters this controls space logistics, with lunar fuel slashing Mars mission costs. NASA's Bill Nelson warned Congress in 2024, China's at the South Pole first, they might claim it, like the South China Sea. Geopolitics teeters. China's lunar roadmap, Chang'e 7 in 2026, testing ice extraction eyes permanent outposts. Russia and allies join the ILRS, while the U.S. scrambles. A lunar base offers high ground surveillance, potentially militarizing cislunar space.